Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to uh, do some transposing of data uh, in order to facilitate uh, the appropriate analysis. So, in I'm going to do two examples. Uh, one's a really easy one, and one's a little more complicated. In this first example, which is a really easy one, uh, an individual is interested in doing a repeated measures and analysis of variance, and in SPSS, uh, as probably most of you know, uh, SPSS requires data to be inputted in a long format uh, in order to do a repeated measures and analysis. There might be a way of doing it uh, without having to do that, but conventionally, uh, you have to have your data in a long format. But a lot of people enter data if they're not instructed one way or the other. They'll enter data in a repeated measures design and they'll put it in the um, the wide format and what you can see here is that there's a time one time two time three variable but the person entered the data as rows so time one time three time two to time three are in rows and each case has his own column or her column and in order to do the analysis we would have to actually transpose these data so that time one time two time three are actually in the columns and the cases the ten cases are actually rows so how can we do that well we can do it quite easily we go into data we go to transpose we put our time variable which is is the time one time two time three these are supposed to be columns so we put them into the name variable box and then we put our cases uh, into the variables so I got case one to case ten and I put that in there and then I click on OK and SPSS is going to generate a new uh, spreadsheet of data that is in the long format that can be used to facilitate doing some paired samples t-tests or a repeated measures ANOVA or some correlations so we can see that we've got time one and it goes from one all the way to ten and that was just transposed quite simply because uh, we've got time one here and that one goes all the way to ten over a year and so each each time period uh, goes up sequentially by one unit and we've got our data so what if we have a more complicated case though uh, and actually before I continue what I'll say is that sometimes you might have you might be thinking well why not just copy and paste this you could copy that paste it into Excel and then and transpose it into Excel well sometimes you have huge data sets tens of thousands of people and it just takes a long time to just scroll down to the whole end of your of your data uh, or you have a huge number of variables and it takes a long time to scroll so it's usually faster to use the um, the graphical user interface or to use syntax in this case uh, the second case I'm going to do uh, or demonstrate it's more complicated because what is needed to be transposed from rows to columns is actually categorized according to the subject so in this fictitious example subjects were rated by themselves so Gary Smith gave himself ratings so he's the subject Gary Smith and he's also the rater for one row of data so he rated himself on a questionnaire of some sort and then a number of other people in this case I think it's ten ten people gave the subject Gary Smith ratings on this same questionnaire and the names of the raters are here these are just fictitious names I made up uh, and we can see that they all have ratings on this 70 item questionnaire which has subscale scores and total scores and we can see that the da data is populated in such a way that there's also a series of ratings for David Witt and then Raymond Bell and then Stacy Riley also has ratings so how can we transpose these data because let's say the person wants to calculate uh, some a mean score what's the mean score for Gary Smith based on the people that rated him uh, uh, you, there are different ways of doing that and one way is to first transpose the data and you might also ask the question of well what's the correlation between Gary Smith's data for his own self scores and the average ratings of Gary Smith based on these raters so you need to switch it over into columns so how can we do that well one way to do it that's 
quite easy is to go into the not transform option 